we are in day 24 in this video you are going to understand about api led connectivity approach and also various types of apis like system api process api and experience api so let us get started in this video we are going to understand about what is this api led connectivity till now what we have done is uh, we understood how to create new applications which contains flows and flows contain orchestration logic to orchestrate with multiple services so is mule a perfect product for deploying web applications no right basically in mule application we create flows which contain only orchestration logic but then without a ui how is this orchestrated flows useful right so basically once we create an application which contains all my orchestrated flows and these flows are not for a uh, web application what we need to do is we need to expose our application as an api maybe as a rest api or a soap api let's talk about rest apis suppose if your mule application is exposing an api now a web application can consume your application as an api get the data from your mule application and can it can display the ui basically every mule application whatever we write we have to expose it as an api so that it can be consumed by some other application now let us focus on what is this api led connectivity um let me talk about uh, what is this api led connectivity with a practical scenario and example let's assume that you are developing an application for an e-commerce based application company like amazon and assume that your company is having all the inventory related data in sap system inventory management is done through an sap system and let's assume that you are using salesforce for your customer management and all of your order related details let's assume that you are having them in an e-commerce app your e-commerce based service right and assume that some of the customer related details are also present in sap so customer related details are present in sap as well as salesforce suppose now this is your back-end asset your organization can i say that this sap salesforce and uh, e-commerce based system which is storing order related data as asset to your organization yes let's assume that your organization has these underlying assets and one of your business unit came up with a business requirement hey we want a web application for uh, seeing the order status and order history okay so once there is a requirement from your business then what a, a team can be formed which can develop a web application for this so traditionally if you are if you are not following api led connectivity you end up doing like this you develop develop a web application where in this web application you may write one service to aggregate customer related data aggregate customer related data from two systems one from sap and from salesforce because you are having customer related data in both the systems sap and salesforce then your e-commerce system is having order related data then what you might do is you might end up writing one service like say order status service uh, which which needs the data from the e-commerce system and also when it is showing order status it might need some customer related data so your order status service may fetch the customer related data from this aggregated service and you might end up writing one more service let's say it is 
order history service it can give history of orders and this also needs to fetch the order related details from the e-commerce system and of course it needs to get the customer related data from the service whatever you have written so your business uh, business team came up with such a requirement for a web application which can show order status and order history and your team has developed such a web application that's fine you might have delivered this project on time and within your budget but there are there is no reusability in this what do i mean by reusability let's take an example uh, maybe down the line after 6 months uh, the business team has come up with one more requirement hey we want this order status and order history to be viewed on a mobile app as well right but now in the 6 months some of the developers who have developed this web application might have left the organization or maybe they are busy with some other work now what we end up is again developing a separate application with similar kind of services which is catered only for the mobile apps right so basically there is no reusability is it i was not able to reuse this aggregation service order status service or order history service uh, we end up developing a separate new application right this is one thing and one more thing here your services which are writing in the web application need to have the credentials of your organizational assets hard coded in their applications which is not good why should we hard code the credentials of our assets we don't want to give the credentials of our organizational assets to each and every application or the api so that is one problem so what is the solution for this that is nothing but api led connectivity let me explain you in detail again let's assume that um, this is my sap system which is having inventory related data as well as customer related data and this is my salesforce system which is having my customer related data and this is your e-commerce application uh, services e-commerce asset which has order related data now the best approach is what if the core it team in your organization who is not belonging to any of the business units when i say core it team they are not belonging to any of the business unit and they are responsible for managing the organizational assets so if your core it team can develop one mule application which interacts with sap system and expose an api and again another mule application which integrates with salesforce and expose an api another application which interacts with e-commerce system and expose an api these apis are talking to your underlying systems right we can call these apis as system apis which will talk to the underlying systems now uh, these system apis are developed by the core it team of your organization who are not belonging to any of the business unit all right so uh, somebody who is writing these apis uh, maybe will be hard coding the credentials to talk to these backend systems only in these apis once the system apis have been developed let's assume that a business team wants to actually develop a web application for the same use case what are we discussed now the business team what they can do is they can develop an another api let's say aggregate customer related data api aggregate customers by talking to these two system apis one is a sap api and salesforce api and it exposes 
uh, customer related data as an another API. Now the pro and the business team can develop one more API uh, which can actually uh, consume this aggregate customer API and also the order related API from e-commerce system. Let's say this is order history API. This also exposes an API. And one more API, let's say order status API, which can integrate internally with this e-commerce based API and it can get the customer related data from the aggregated API. Now, again, each of this is having some business process orchestration which contain business logic on how to expose order history, order status and aggregate customers. This contains business process. So we call these APIs as process APIs. Now, once these APIs are developed, let's assume that your business unit again is developing a web application. What this web UI can do? It can consume this process APIs like order status and order history and can develop their own UI on top of this process APIs. So now tomorrow if uh, there's a requirement for a mobile application, a mobile UI basically. So what another team can develop a mobile UI just by consuming or reusing these APIs. So if you are following this API based approach, both mobile app and uh, web app both are able to reuse the existing api so the development effort can be less so business logic is reused in the process apis and also the process apis need not know how to interact with your system with your e-commerce system or sap systems they always whenever they want to get the data from the organizational assets they these system APIs are reused, is it? And uh, let me enhance actually. Let's assume that these process APIs are exposed to multiple customers, right? So, what you can do is you can expose uh, this process APIs to customer one, customer two, customer three. So customer two, customer three, customer one, all can actually consume these APIs and they can build their own applications. But assume that there is a customer, new customer four, uh, who actually want to consume the same APIs, but maybe he wants some additional uh, features or maybe additional properties. So that means customer four wants a different kind of an experience for the same APIs. So in such cases, what we do is the best idea. Don't expose the process APIs to the end customers. Develop one more layer called as experience API. And what you do is you write one more API on top of these APIs. And uh, you can expose this one experience API to customer one, customer two, customer three, and maybe for another customer, customer four, since he's having a different experience, he, since the customer four wants some more features along with the existing features, maybe you can create one more experience API, which is actually consuming the process APIs and maybe some other process API. And you can give a different experience to customer four. So basically, even in this case also, we are reusing the process APIs. So if you are developing your application using this kind of an approach, this is called as API-led connectivity. So what you do is for each and every requirement, you develop one API, which is nothing but we can call it as a microservice. So uh, you can have multiple microservices in your system and your application is connecting these APIs and forming an application network. So in this way, we can create multiple application networks using these APIs. So this is called as API led connectivity and this is encouraged by MuleSoft. And assume that if you are deploying 
each API on cloud app, each API based on the requirement, we can scale it individually, is it scale horizontally or vertically. So if particular API is getting more hits, we can of course scale only that particular API on cloud, right? So API-led API connectivity has a lot of advantages, basically reusability, scalability individually, etc. So MuleSoft encourages this API-led connectivity. Now you understood what is API-led connectivity. In the next video, we are going to design our APIs using the design center. We'll understand more about RAMLs, how to design your APIs, and later we'll see how to manage your APIs. See you in next video.